Hi there, today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of alt tagging images and making sure your image is absolutely perfectly ready for when you upload it to your website. So um, we're going to use this image here. Um, it's been uh, taken from a recent photo shoot uh, of our team, or some of our team anyway, um, and um, this is the picture we're going to use. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is you'll notice here that it says Dell Social dot for or dash fourteen. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that I'm going to be writing a blog post about digital marketing team or digital marketing teams in Guildford. That's the, the kind of keywords that I want to rank for, right? So the very first thing I'm going to do, if I was doing it for digital marketing team, is I'm going to come to this image here, and I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to type in, okay? Which means, obviously, the image is now ready for digital marketing team, okay? So next up is something else that I've got to do, which I'm going to upload it to my site. But before I do that, I want to make sure the image is the best size it possibly can be to make sure my website still loads. So if you visit this website, compressorio.com, you'll be able to actually put that image in and it will, oh, sorry, and it will compress it for you. So if I just plop that in there, it'll load it up to the site and you'll see at the start it was 3.45 megabytes and it's just taken it down to 1.15. Now if I download that, I've now got that image there. Now, I'm just going to argument say, just try that again, because actually I probably could press that a little bit more. But let's just see. No, that's fine. It's It wants to do that. So there we go. Okay. So we've done that. And you can you can accept, you can kind of customize this to, to whatever settings you want. But we've done the, I don't want to lose any integrity to the picture, but I do want it to be as small as I can get it to be for that, for that image. Okay. So next up, I'm going to come to... Uh, obviously up to WordPress, okay, and I'm going to um, install the image. All right, so sorry, guys. So I'm going to add the media, okay, and very simply, I'm going to plop it up, up there. Now you'll notice here are the areas that we need to talk about. Well, the alt text for this image is exactly what I'm, you know, is what I'm trying to rank it for, which is digital marketing team. So I'm going to change this and type in. Now, I might want to make that in Guildford, because if I add digital marketing team, the chances of that showing in Google search, well, in fact, let's have a look. So if I do digital marketing team and I go to images, we'll see loads and loads and loads of them, right? If I were to put in in Guildford, the chances are you'll see others that will pop up there. So for example, Delivered Social here. You'll get an idea of, of kind of what that is and, and there you go. So I've done that bit and I've done Digital Marketing Team in Guildford, I've done Digital Marketing Team and next up what I want to do is put in the description. Now what you don't want to do is write image of or picture of because that's already implied it is an image, it is a picture. So what I, what I could write is something like um, Delivered Social uh, digital marketing team walking down cobbled high street and if someone were to look for something like that that would actually be a, a fair representation of what that picture is okay but obviously delivered social might be a bit too niche so you might actually want to put digital marketing team walking down cobbled high street um, and that would accurately do what that is. Now you don't want your alt text to be really any more than 200 characters in total and you want to avoid keyword stuffing, okay? That's very, very important because you don't want Google just getting completely turned off with what it is. But that is essentially what you do. You would insert that into your post and that's how you would get that done. Thank you very much for watching.